RPA and AI, and Automation Dream Team. Automation technologies are moving center stage in the collective consciousness. As more people begin to think about technologies such as robotic process automation, RPA, and AI in their daily lives, they're introducing new ideas, and even some misconceptions, to the narrative. While some may have heard about RPA and AI, they may not have a working understanding of how these technologies work and what benefits they provide. Here's what you need to know. 1. RPA is sharply defined and based on hard rules that make it predictable. AI isn't too. Despite having different use cases, RPA and AI are a potent combination in the enterprise 3. RPA and AI together can improve both the employee experience and customer experience. RPA and AI, how they're different. Employees around the world are apprehensive of automation in the workplace to varying degrees. Some are skeptical, and others are downright fearful. To sort out my own understanding of today's automation technologies, I talked with two experts to learn more about the difference between RPA and AI as part of our new video series, CXO Corner. In this episode, I spoke with Kasyap Kampela, founder and CEO of Verpa2i, and Daniel Neuhauser, head of ERP Core Solutions at Villaroy & Bach. Fortunately, most businesses can resolve employees' worries about these technologies with a little education, and comparisons to real-world scenarios are supremely helpful for non-technical employees and business leaders alike. Kampela offered one such example, based on a planned personal trip to Antarctica. He compared RPA bots to the small rubber boats that ferry visitors to sites across the icy landscape, which is a lot like the way those bots bring information and processes across a disparate IT landscape. Neuhauser explained that RPA is a very defined technology based on hard rules. AI, on the other hand, is less defined. The decisions that an RPA instance makes are predictable and understandable based on the bot's defined rules. In contrast, it can be hard to understand why an AI instance made the decisions it did. As AI technologies such as machine learning continue to learn, their behaviors and decisions can change. Unlocking the potential of RPA and AI. It makes sense, then, that RPA and AI often have very different use cases. But combining these two technologies can benefit an enterprise in powerful ways. I am very bullish on the combination of RPA and AI, Compella said, adding that it's the primary focus of his company, Urba2i. We look at RPA plus AI as really automation on steroids. In fact, we believe the next phase of growth in this industry will be driven by cognitive automation, or intelligent automation. Compella pointed to a real example built on intelligent automation solutions. One organization is using an RPA platform to manage data from intelligent sensors along the supply chain and help ensure that COVID-19 vaccines are delivered safely. Both experts also explored how the combined power of AI and RPA could revolutionize more complicated work, such as tasks that bog down and hold back much of the skilled workforce. Compella said that, together, AI and RPA have the potential to pass the Turing test when performing white-collar work. Improving CX and the employee experience. For the past few years, most businesses have jumped on the RPA train to streamline operations and to squeeze more productivity out of all available resources, including the workforce. Compella said businesses would do well to shift their RPA focus to helping their workers, especially as employee stress and burnout approach an all-time high during the pandemic. I'd like the industry to take a slightly different approach. Obviously, RPA has great benefits in delivering a great customer experience, he said. But we believe that the path to a superior customer experience has to go through a superior employee experience first. Everyone I got to know was happy when I could find a solution to reduce repetitive tasks. Every time, this was the main success criteria, Neuhauser said. Watch the full conversation here.